Mahlzeit. Hi guys. Um, hmm. I'll make it quick. I'm experimenting. I have a big list of things that come to my mind and I want to do. Whenever I've got time, I go back to that list and try what I thought of earlier. Gotta tell you, I don't have a lot of time. But recently, I'm kind of mad at Instagram. I don't want to be its bitch anymore. It seems like that's a platform that's super saturated. It's really hard to get people to see your stuff, even if they're subscribed. Um, I can't complain, I have a pretty big following. But if you dedicate your time to something, you kind of want to something get out of it. And they used to have this monitor to they used to have a monitor you used to get money for your reels. They skipped that. They might come back with something else and it was not even much for the time I spent there. Not worth it. Cause I have so much other things to do. Plus painting. I mean social media is killing an artist. YouTube is different because I feel having done Instagram, doing YouTube now, it's a completely different quality. My videos have a different quality. You guys are different. Long story short, I took a break at first because uh, family was in town and I did not want to spend my time on my phone. But now, I'm realizing that I don't have to spend all that time to create content, edit that content. And I'm talking daily. I posted for the last three years daily. You kind of have to do that to get a decent following. But what does it help if people don't see it? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm being pouty again. Sorry, I was mad at Instagram. Not anymore because I find that I now have a total different approach again. I don't do what people might want to see when they take a crap. So now that I have more time, I went to the first thing on my list. And that was, where is it? Satin enamel. I've never done, well, seriously, any other pouring other than the stuff that I do. I just, I watch other people's videos, talk to other artists. You always come across satin enamels. Personally, no idea. <laughs> but um, I thought, uh, I thought, what if I swiped with that? And I did. There's no big recipe or anything. I just used one part of this. Uh, same amount of Floetrol, added some Gek 800 and some water because it was still pretty thick. So, um, I do like the outcome. I am going to show you two different kinds, put you on music because no time, sorry. Um, but then you will see some cloudy swipes. It was fun. If you um, play with that around or have played with that using enamels with the bloom recipe, let me know. Um, maybe you have other ideas. Um, shoot, follow me on Instagram. Watch my stuff. I'm still there. Just not posting daily anymore. Love you guys. Bye-bye.
totally forgot. I want to show you a, a dried results once in a while. Um, last week's video turned out to be a dab bomb. Where is that? I like this type of painting so much and I'm slowly getting where I want to be. That's it. And it dried beautifully. I still love this. Um, can you see my rose gold somewhere there? Um, it is a little blushy. I have not used it as a paint, just as cell activator, and it, that could be the reason. I mean, you see a little bit of sparkle, but it's kind of faint. Okay, guys, this gets a coat of varnish because I love to varnish canvas to keep the texture. And uh, some things that I wanted to do that are going in with a pen and darken up some things. Um, I'm thinking about this spot here just to get it a little and drag it a little bit down. Because there's not a lot of contrast down here, and it could use some. After that, it's for sale. If you're interested, shoot me an email. And now I'm gone. Bye.